Well, hello there. You've caught me sipping on some Lion's Kool-Aid. Because I believe my Lions can beat the Saints. Who's that over there? Oh, right. That's Mitchell Trebensky. Hey, Mitchell. What are you looking at there, mate? You're looking at your career just pass you by, eh? Poor Mitchell Trebensky. Just sitting there, looking at his career. Hey, Mitchell. Why are you sitting on the bench there, mate? Oh, yeah, that's right. Hey, Mitchell, what are you? Are you a quarterback? I don't think so. Sitting on the bench here. Yeah. And what accent exactly am I speaking in? I don't know. But one thing I do know is that you have a very particular set of skills. Mitchell Trebinsky. Drafted before Patrick Mahomes. Why am I picking on Trebinsky? Because apparently Lions fans troll Chicago Bears fans. And that is not true. That is not true, not true at all. But Mitchell Trebinsky, sitting there on the bench, yeah? Warming it up. Doing nothing. Hey, Mitchell, you really put the bench in Trebinsky. Did you realize that you are a champion in the to the members of ISN. Hey there, football fans. My name is Derek, and this is the Gridiron Blitz. Be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell because here we talk all things football. Today, we're going to look at the New Orleans Saints versus Detroit Lions week four matchup at Ford Field. The New Orleans Saints are coming off of a second devastating loss this past Sunday, while the Detroit Lions are coming off their first win in 12 games. And here we are on the ESPN website, and we start like we always do with the ESPN matchup predictor. Now, ESPN has the Detroit Lions with the same percentage they've been had against pretty much every team they face this season. The New Orleans Saints have a 66% chance to win this game with the Detroit Lions with a 33.7 with the remaining percent 0.3 percent being at a tie as we take a look at the passing leaders for each team drew Brees is 73 for 104 760 yards with six touchdowns and one interception matthew stafford is 66 for 106 with 811 yards with five touchdowns and two interceptions in my opinion one of the two biggest things that we have to stop as a Detroit Lion for the New Orleans Saints would be Alvin Kamara with 31 carries for 153 yards with three touchdown and up and coming lead back for the Detroit Lions Adrian Peterson with 43 carries for 209 yards just some reception leaders there TJ Hawkinson with 13 receptions 171 yards with one touchdown Alvin Kamara again with 27 receptions for 285 yards and three touchdowns. Alvin Kamara is a problem catching out of the backfield. So as we take a look at just some of the notable questionable names, have a few people for the New Orleans Saints. Defensive tackle David Oyemada, hopefully I said that right. Tight end Jared Cook, wide receiver Michael Thomas, Marshawn Lattimore, cornerback, and Janoris Jenkins, quarterback, are all questionable. They probably will pay, play. I'm pretty sure Michael Thomas will play. He's been out for the last two weeks. Then we go to the Detroit Lions, CJ Moore, Hunter Bryant, Desmond Trufant, and Deshaun Hand. So far, no Jeff Okuda. As I look deeper into the injury report, so far, Jeff Okuda is not on the injury report. So whatever happened to him during Sunday's game, he probably worked it out and he'll be able to to match up on Sunday. Now let's take a look at the points per game. The New Orleans Saints average almost 30 points a game to the Detroit Lions 23. Points allowed per game 31 for the New Orleans Saints to 30 for the Detroit Lions. Total yards, I mean these teams are pretty much split right down the middle, which is a good thing and a bad thing. We'll get into that later. Total yards, 371 for the New Orleans Saints to 376 for the Detroit Lions. Passing yards for the Saints, 266 and 270 for the Detroit Lions. Rushing yards, 105.3 for the Saints, 105.7 for the Detroit Lions. So as we look on offense so far, 
the team is pretty much split right down the middle yards allow the detroit lions allow about 50 more yards than the saints 423 to the saints 368 with 268 of those yards coming through the air for the saints and 250 of those yards coming through the air for the detroit lions rushing yards allow the detroit lions have lowered their average to 172 rushing yards per game while the saints allow 100 on the nose if we look at the saints last five games the saints aren't that good actually they're two and three with a double loss coming in weeks two and three a 34 to 24 loss to las vegas on monday night football and a 30 to 37 loss sunday night with the green bay packers now if we go on the detroit lions side the detroit lions are coming off their first win in 12 tries with a last second field goal win over the arizona cardinals last sunday as i look at these two teams i'm pretty split down the middle and honestly folks this game could go either way drew Brees has not looked that sharp the past two weeks just doesn't look like the drew Brees that we know the thing about the new orleans saints is being able to run on them as well as for the detroit lions to stop the run alvin Kamara is a dangerous running back and receiving back out of the backfield i think if the detroit lions can contain him and stifle drew Brees, they can win this game if we go over to the detroit lions side matthew stafford has not looked his best overthrowing several receivers at times the defense stepped up and improved and moved to 26 from 32 while the new orleans defense is currently ranked 27. so if the detroit lions can continue to get pressure utilize lead running back adrian peterson we can win this game the loser of this game moves to one and three for the season and as i said earlier the lions are going to a bye week week five and the saints move on to face their next opponent leave it in the comments below no matter if you're a saints fan or a lions fan who do you think will win this game and i want to give a special shout out to mitchell trebinsky who has nothing better to do who decided to join this video enjoy the bench mitchell you've earned it my name is derek this is the gridiron blitz be sure to like and subscribe and bears fans it's all love between me and another youtuber so chill out all right just just relax it's all love be safe take care of yourself because i want to see you in the next video